Wow. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Normally I do travel vlogs and cinematic videos, but this time I thought it'd be a little fun project to film, you know, some real client work. For those who don't know, I do graphic design for a living and there are some times where I do have to use my photo and video skills to achieve certain goals for certain projects. If you came here expecting some glamorous photo shit, this is definitely not the video. Consider this more of an informative video and a very simple and scrappy way of putting together a BTS. This was me just challenging myself just to shoot a BTS while I was also shooting some client work. What you can expect out of this video is me just going through and breaking down some of my favorite shots that I captured in this session. But anyway, enough talking, you came here for the BTS, not me. So let's get into the video. Both house farms came to us looking for help in capturing social assets. Normally we would outsource this kind of ask, but we ended up being nimble with it and shot everything in-house and maximizing the space that we had in our own office. This was a collaborative process across many departments, including design, creative, production, media, strategy, brand, and even bringing along a food stylist to ultimately help bring these shots to life. The first shot of this session was shot outside close to noon. I know this is not the ideal lighting for a lot of people, but this was the look that we were trying to go for. This is the shot straight out of camera. Considering how it was already harsh lighting, the only thing I was just looking out for is making sure that highlights weren't blown out because it's always easier to bring up shadows rather than recovering blown out highlights. Here's the final result. Compositionally, we wanted the product to feel a little bit more heroic. And then in terms of editing, I just made sure that highlights weren't blown out as I was adjusting the exposure in the whites. And then I brought up the shadows a little bit more just because the harsh lighting was already creating a lot of contrast. And then I just topped it off with a little bit of warmth and vibrancy. Shot number two was supposed to highlight the Honey Barbecue Ranch and this post was set to go live on July 4th so we set up a picnic area with the colors of the American flag and a platter of chicken wings. Similar to shot number one, this was done during harsh lighting. We were a fan of how the shadows were during this time of day and we also wanted to give off the idea that we're having a picnic during the summer. We also had a white bounce card just to fill the shadows a touch. Similar treatment is shot number one where I combat harsh lighting by increasing the shadows and the exposures while also ensuring that highlights aren't blown out. I brought a little bit more contrast back by adding more whites. I feel like it makes your photos a little bit more punchier. Then obviously I added more vibrancy and warmth while topping it off with finessing the blues to feel a little bit more cohesive. Onto one of the more complex shots of this entire batch. This one involved a little bit more attention to detail from beginning to end. And it definitely deviated back and forth from the main concept, but somehow worked in the end. My setup for these next couple shots were fairly simple. It involved a solid color backdrop. We also didn't mind the natural lighting that was already coming through the kitchen windows. So we set up two strobes, one with the snoop facing directly onto the product. And then we had another one with the sauce box that just helped fill in the shadows a touch. This next shot was supposed to highlight the green goddess dressing. Our food stylist did a fantastic job at helping setting up the scene with garnish and a touched up avocado. Now here's a shot straight out of camera. We shot from a slightly lower angle so that the product could feel more heroic. And in terms of lighting, it was fairly even throughout with no harsh shadows. We also shot on a green background that would later get shifted to something that felt more appropriate for the product. And now when it says some assets require more finesse in post, this is definitely one of them. The team wanted the product to feel like it was glowing and that there was some sort of backlight. So I went ahead and used my LED loom cube to highlight certain parts so that in post when I added the glow, it would feel more realistic. Now adding the glow in post is very tricky and I didn't have that much time to pull it off. So I had a Photoshop action preset to help me out with the motion blur. I just had to make sure I masked out the product so that the glow felt like it was coming from behind. After a little bit of Photoshop, this is the final result. Basically just taking the glow from the previous frame, putting it in here and ensuring that light rays weren't bleeding over onto the product. I actually had to tone down the rays quite a bit and I took a lens flare and I put it behind the bottle and the cup. And I also just maxed in all the highlights that I got with the loom cube and overall just making the photo feel more warmer and vibrant. Touched up the avocado so that it would feel more green because it was starting to feel a little bit brown. And then I just shifted the background to be a little bit more of a warmer green versus the cooler green that we had initially. In hindsight, I feel like if I had more time, it would have turned out a lot cooler, but you know, it is what it is. I tried. Moving on to one of my favorite shots throughout the batch. This was to highlight their protein banana honey almond butter smoothie. Yeah, that was a mouthful. 
Again, our food stylist come in clutch on this one. We really wanted to showcase every single ingredient that was used in the smoothie. So this was meant to live on IG stories and every time you would tap on a story, you would basically feel like you're building your own smoothie. Super stoked with how this one turned out, especially with the lighting. Was not expecting the bokeh to be that milky smooth in the background. As far as lighting is concerned, the setup didn't change that much from the last shot to this one. The only thing that changed was that the product was further away from the background and closer to the camera. And in post, all I did was add some contrast and vibrancy. Moving on to the final shot that I'm showcasing for this video. We went very simple with this setup. We had natural lighting from the windows and we used the tripod to help mount my camera so that we had a top down view and we had to also shoot it vertically because this was an IG Reels. Overall not anything too crazy but it is a very beautiful platter and just some dipping action going on. By the way a little plug and a huge shout out to our food stylist today. Her name is Gabriella. She absolutely killed it and helped us bring the vision to life. If you enjoyed what she did today and would like to hire her for your future projects, I'm going to leave all her contact info in the description below. And that's it. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you got anything out of this, consider subscribing, drop it that like, give me a follow on IG, all that good stuff. Thanks for making it to the end. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.